What's going on you guys? This is MaxKD. I have another Dell Optiplex 745. This is the mini tower. It's going to be upgrades for light gaming. So we're going to remove the side cover panel. And I'm going to be upgrading the processor. To do that, you just need a Phillips screwdriver. And there's one screw here in the top, one on the bottom. That you have to remove. And this one slides out like this, the heat sink, just like that. Remove. And what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take a paper towel and you're gonna clean off the the old thermal compound on the processor like this before you remove it there's a clip you press on remove like this comes out here's the old processor the processor guys I'm going to be upgrading is uh, Intel Core 2 Intel Core 2 Quad let me see if you can zoom in the camera and this is the Q6600. Hi, let me see if you can zoom in. So yeah, it's a Q6600. Uh, this is a quad core at 2.4 gigahertz. Got a 1066 megahertz front side bus. So this is the processor we're going to be upgrading on the Dell Optiplex 745 mini tower. And the way you install it is going to be the same way you remove it like this. The corners on the bottom one, the left one, the right the corners. And it's the same way you're going to install it like this. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put this uh, clear right here to remove the... I have to remove the old thermal compound from the heat sink. To do that, you will need a... Uh, you're gonna take a credit card or debit card you have, the one you don't use, and you're gonna scrape it off like this. Let me try to put it like this so you guys can see better. Okay, we do remove the old thermal compound. Now what I have to do is uh, is take a rubbing alcohol. Uh, so rubbing alcohol, seventy percent. You guys can get this at the, any uh, grocery store where the pharmacy is located. So rubbing alcohol, seventy percent. They sell it, or you can go online and get it. Then you're gonna take the rubbing alcohol and you're gonna apply it. Take a paper towel, put a small amount like this, and remove the, try to get the rest of the old thermal compound off the heatsink, like this. And same way with the new part, just get this off like that. That's good enough. Now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna take the new thermal uh, compound and just apply it like this on the heat sink. Uh, if you guys want to get the best uh, thermal compound, go with the uh, Arctic Silver Five or Arctic uh, uh, MX4 they have or MX2. Those are like a high quality thermal compound if you want to buy. I'm gonna go like this, spread it evenly with the credit card. And that's good enough. Now we're gonna install it back. I 
a heat sink. Take a screwdriver, Phillips. You're gonna get the screw back on the, the one on the top, one on the bottom here. Make sure they're tight, they're not loose. Okay, they're done. Now, I'm gonna be showing you guys the last part is upgrading the video card for light gaming. To do that, there's a latch right here. You press it down like this. Then to remove this old video card is you will, there's a little secure clip. You press it down right here to release it, the lock so the video card can come out. If you can't get your hand, this little finger uh, right here to, to remove the clip, then what you have to do is take a screwdriver like this. And uh, you like can see the little clip right there. You press it like that and the video card comes out like that. So this is the secure clip I'm talking about. You have to press down before you lose, remove the video card. Hey guys, the video card I'm gonna be installing is uh, GTX. This is a GTX uh, 745. This is an OEM video card. It's a low profile. It's a single slot video card because if you run a dual slot, you're not able to fit. So this is the GTX 745 from the, and it's a four gigs. Uh, the G4's G GT730 will also fit on a single slot, full high bracket, and uh, this is a G4's uh, GT710, but this is not a gaming video card, it's like for the home TDPC. PC, and it's only, uh, you can use a full high bracket on this too, and they will fit fine. Uh, but uh, GTX, uh, the 1050 will not fit, so here's the video card, this will not fit, because it's running dual uh, slot. Do a PCI slot, this will not fit. So just guys let you know that. So let me show you guys and get this removed and show you the video card I'm installing. The the video card I'm installing again guys, this is a NVIDIA GeForce a GTX 745 and this is the 4 gig. It's got a HDMI port, display port and DVI port. And the power supply here is a 305 watts, so you don't even have to upgrade the power supply. It works perfectly fine with this video card. So the video card is installed, we're done. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to plug in the monitor directly to the video card and turn on the computer then if you already have windows installed like windows 7 or windows 10 then you're going to go to nvidia website and get the drivers for the video card if you run a 64-bit operating system then get the drivers for the video card install the drivers and restart the computer and you're done so guys let me put the side cover back, panel back on and we're done so you guys this is the end of the video but i did made a video separate video on the uh, optiplex uh, the 780 it's a similar to this and mini tower, you guys can watch the video too on it. I did it for the Soul State Drive and the power supply upgrade. It's a Dell Optiplex 780 mini tower. It's already uploaded the video. So, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.